All right, we're on Knobstone Trail. <laughs> Getting ready to head out. Go time. Well, it's 2.30 in the afternoon and it is balls hot out. <laughs> so my car is right here. We were told it was okay. And hopefully it it's on fire is. <laughs> we get back, exactly yeah. why. Still here and not on fire when we return. Hmm. It's our first <laughs> stop, and it's still really, really hot, <laughs> and we are all fucking drenched. Very sweaty. But no water, no breeze, just sun, and dirt. Here's our. Campsite from kind of by the trail. There's Nick and Matt. There's our clothesline for now. We just had a dinner, which was tacos, and attempted to clean. It was delicious but hard to clean, so good times, good times. And we're still pretty, it's getting a little cooler, but it's still pretty warm, and it's all, all our clothes are still soaking wet over there just from sweat, so hopefully they're slightly drier in the morning. We'll find out tomorrow. All right, here's Matt. Gonna try getting the bear bag up. First try. Oh. <laughs> Those are our bowls breaking. <laughs> And Nick's gonna have the only bowl in the morning. Yeah. Huh? Well, that's not high enough though, right? Yeah, that's a little low. <laughs> All right, okay. Try for it, like, seriously, try for that highest part up there. Yeah. Right. Or near the high part. Yeah, that's good. Uh oh. <laughs> Double loop. After 20 minutes, we got. Got the bear, bear bag secured, and we're good to go. Well, it's the end of day one, and just walking up the stream. It's pretty dry, but I suppose this is high water for for around here. Uh, if we keep going up the stream, we'll run into the lake. We just did the big loop around today. Um, yeah, not too much else is going on. It's kind of nice. Gotta get over this thing, but so far it's just been hot. Um, but end of one good day, only did about five miles today, and we're going to try for probably about 10 to 12 tomorrow and see how it goes, so getting a little closer to running water, but we got an actual lake we're going to fill out that in the morning, so hopefully we find good water. It's 9 a.m. We just or 9:30 a.m. We just finished up our first water mission. We used UV and pump combination, so we'll see how uh, how good or how terrible we feel in 12 <laughs> hours. If the, if this is a success or not? Oh. We just stopped for lunch at the trailhead or one of the trailheads, and it's just starting to rain a little bit, but we're Put some bug spray on and we're about to hit the trail again. So it's nighttime on day two and this is our campsite. We got the bear bag hung up. We hiked probably about somewhere between 11 and 12 miles today. Our stove's not working, our water pumps stopped working tonight. And uh, we broke Matt's bowl putting the uh, bear bags up last night. So we, uh, oh, and Nick's camera started working again, so. Only three things are not working, but we'll see how dinner goes tomorrow. And uh, much better weather today, just 12 or 11 or 12 horrible miles today, so shorter days ahead. It's close to the start of day three, 
we are right next to a kind of like a highway up there and we stopped here to fill up water the water pump is broken so we used all UV sanitizing so we will see how good the water tastes and hope we don't get too sick from it it's 1 p.m. on day 3 and we got a little lost but we're back on the trail after bushwhacking and cutting our legs up a lot um, but everything's pretty good so far we just had lunch and we're getting ready to start moving again well this is the end of day three some kind of probably an old logging road is what the trail is right now which is pretty nice because it's been pretty hard so far and we found that area to camp in and Matt and Nick are in there we just stopped about 10 minutes ago so we are resting and then Matt's got to clean camp up because it's covered in down trees and Nick and I are gonna probably go walk probably two or three more miles to go find water so that's uh, the next couple hours for us but should mean that we'll have water for the rest of our trip and that'll be pretty key go for a little walk and this is probably the coolest type of wildlife we've encountered just a little turtle try not to scare them too much they're just sitting along all over the trail trying to stay cool in the 95 degree heat that we've been having today this is the first one that doesn't seem scared of us so kind of cool but I don't know what kind of turtle it is they don't move much just sit there looking around wandered up the trail a little bit from where we're camping on the end of day three and this is what we're trying to decide if we're gonna actually stay where we're at today it's only 3 15 so we're trying to decide if we stay where we're at today or do we pack our things up and go a little bit further up trail so if we decide to go up trail it's pretty easy relative to what we, everything else we've been doing so I don't know, we'll see what the guys think when I get back to camp, but I'm open to anything. Home stretch, almost yep. there. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh... Eight o'clock, we've already done two and a half miles this morning and we've got about two and a half to go. So we're trying to get as much as we can while the sun is not too high. And easy, we just did a half a mile uphill earlier. So the rest of it is easy downhill the rest of the time. Well, we made it back. It's only nine o'clock. We cranked out, uh, how many, five miles about? about? Five miles, yeah. And got washed up. So good morning, fast pace and car's still here, so. That's the end of the trail. What'd you think? Your first backpacking trip? It was fun. Well worth it. Very good. Challenging, but fun. We're back home, or my home. Nick and Matt have another two hours. Matt's brushing his teeth. Good plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all, good trip. we're all thoroughly gross though, but it was fun times. So, 